guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi i'm cassie and today i have a very small b m haul for you um i think this is the first haul of 2022 for b m so i just i've done a little bit of shopping and i wanted to come on and show you guys what i've bought so if you are interested to see what i got from my first b m haul of 2022 please keep watching also, please do remember to like, comment and subscribe. It really does help my channel and it helps support me and I really do appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get into it. So as I've said, it is a small B&M haul. This is probably the smallest B&M haul that I've actually done. Um, but I wanted to come on and show you guys what I have bought. Um... We're going to start with this beauty. This is a little shelf unit. Now it is made to hang on the wall with these hooks and there's like some screws that come with it as well. However, I'm really thinking of having that displayed on my desk so I can display some of my crystals on here. Um, so I think this was £8 and they do it in gold and black. But how cute is that? I just thought, um, we've got any crystals to hand have i got any crystals to hand of course i have any... so this will be on my desk and i was thinking of sort of storing crystals on there like that i might hang it on the wall but if i'm honest i am really thinking of popping that um on my desk so that's the first thing that i purchased the next thing I purchased was this really cute mug. Um, I've absolutely fell in love with this as soon as I saw it. Um, it was supposed to be £2.50. However, when I got to the till, it scanned up as 10p. So you cannot grumble at a mug for 10p. It's a great size. And it's got my star sign and constellation on. Which I'm actually, I know it's quite a simple constellation. But I'm really considering getting that tattooed on me somewhere so loving that although to be fair that's how i drink so i would have thought that the pattern would have been on there but i suppose i can drink like that so my mug fits perfectly on my shelf as well just while i'm obviously showing you everything else um i also picked up this really cute heart shaped bowl um this was two pound fifty this is part of the new range i have got like a whole white range of um like home sort of dinnerware um but i thought that would be really cute to pop crystals in like literally everything is crystal at the moment i love love crystals but um i could use it you could use it as a trinket dish or obviously if you wanted to use it for its purpose you could use it as like a serving bowl pasta bowl perhaps um or just some nibbles etc but yeah really cute bowl great for two pound fifty and it's a heart shape so perfect for valentine's day coming up Although I'm not using it for that. <laughs> Next up, I also purchased this really cute candle holder. So it's a tea light holder with two elephants together. Let me see if I can take this off. I can't actually see it very well. Okay, I'll just pop it to the side for now. But they've got like their um, trunks and twines together. And again, I really thought this would be perfect for two spheres on either side. Um, so here's one. And Ta -da! So I thought those would be really cute to display on my crystal display once that's all up and running, um, which I will show you guys once I've set it up. I just thought that was really really cute so that was five pound which I didn't think was too bad maybe it's like a tea light holder it's a bit expensive but I love anything elephant at the moment they're so cute next up I also purchased this iridescent bowl this was four pound and again I thought I would use it this is usually a candle it's a fish bowl, but I think you're supposed to use it as like a candle bowl. Um, 
but I thought this would be perfect for popping more crystals in. Everything's like crystals at the moment, um, especially with it being iridescent as well. I just thought it's really good size and you can pop sort of crystals in to display them really nicely. Because if I'm honest, the crystals are too nice to be sort of tucked away in like a box hidden away. I want them on display for everyone to see. So this is really cute. Such a big size as well. So that was £4. Again, that was down the home section. And then last but certainly not least, I just quickly grabbed some of the Lenore tumble dry sheets. I've not used these, but I have smelt them so many times and they smell incredible. I've never used tumble dryer sheets before, um, but it does say that they're supposed to be uh, reducing static, reduce increases and extra softness. And let's face it, who doesn't want their clothes smelling like that? It smells incredible. So this is the Sparkling Bloom and Yellow Poppy fragrance. I really wish you guys could smell this through the camera. Oh my God, it smells incredible. So you get 34 sheets in there. I think this is something like £1.50, really cheap. Um, so I'm going to give those a go and see how we get on. I might try and find the matching um, fabric conditioner to go with this one because, or one that will just sort of match it because I don't really want to sort of clash fragrances i guess um but i know mixing fragrances isn't too bad so that's those as well and that is everything for my bnm haul so really short and sweet this time um i will be doing a bigger bnm haul at the end of february um i'm on a bit of a spending ban at the moment so february is going to be a tight month with regards to spending so that's probably it with regards to my haul for this month um but i do have a big bnm haul coming up very very soon um i do hope you enjoyed this video guys um please let me know if there are any other hauls or anything else you'd like to see um, i'm always up for obviously receiving comments and sort of recommendations on what you'd like to see guys um but i do hope you enjoyed this video please do remember to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you all again in the next video bye guys